Hello, my name is Reese from Monocle. We are not a traditional team. We have a vast amount of experience in a number of fields. This allows us to create great games and have an edge over other studios. Since 2015, we've worked on a number of projects, as well as releasing Mirrors, our first original IP. In 2019, we were contracted to develop The Longest Kick on behalf of international footballer Meza Ozil. We are ready to release more of our own IP and further our game dev journey. Today we are pitching our newest idea. The Fast and the Furious is a card style racing game inspired by games like the Mario Kart franchise and the Simpsons Hit and Run. You play as Red, a lovable squirrel who drives a range of remote controlled cars to navigate their local neighbourhood. Our game's main features include viewing an open world environment from a squirrel's perspective, race against a variety of crazy characters, additional game modes, cars and customization, unique trackless racing and a unique racing combat system. We have looked at the market and based on the sales of popular and indie games within the genre, we should be able to sell at least 20,000 copies, but we're aiming for 50,000. We are still at the concept and ideation stage of development. As you can see, we have basic driving physics and shooting implemented. We are also planning our online presence and marketing strategy. We have also thoroughly planned out our prototype development. For the consumer show, we plan to showcase a tutorial teaching both car and shooting mechanics. Players will be able to explore a beautiful local neighbourhood while interacting with non-player characters. The prototype will wrap up with a race against an AI opponent. We aim for the Fast and the Furious to release on PC in the summer of 2021 and release on console that same winter. We have looked at our finances in detail and believe our game has great potential. We are also fortunate enough to have an investor willing to match investment up to £25,000. We aim to find our remaining budget using publishers, crowdfunding and early access. Once released, we would need 8,300 sales to make profit. We would like to thank you for your consideration.